Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Let's get all the solutions to this. The first thing is 5 times 5 giving us 25. Then x times x giving us x squared. And this is equal to x over 5. Now the next thing to be done is to cross multiply so that I will have x to the power of 2 equal to 25 multiplied by 5, right? This means that x to the power of 3, okay, this is x to the power of 3. x to the power of 3 equal to 125. That is if I multiply 25 by 5. And this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 equal to 125 here is the same as 5 to the power of 3, right? Now, bring everything to the left hand side. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, remember this standard, if you can remember it. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. Now, do you know what this will give you? To be sincere, do you know it? Okay, this will give you a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so this is what it will give us. Now, in place of a now, I'm having x. So put x minus in place of b, we have 5. Put your 5. Close this. Then go to the next bracket. In place of a, we write x and square it plus ab now becomes 5 times x. That will be 5x. Then plus b squared is 5 squared. Okay, so we have 5 squared there. And everything equals 0. x minus 5 here. And then on the other bracket, in the other bracket, we have x squared plus 5x plus 25 equals zero okay now from here we apply our zero product rule so we can say that it is either this is equal to zero or what we have here is equal to zero now let's pick this first so that we have x minus 5 to be equal to zero meaning that x is equal to zero plus 5 and our x is simply equal to 5 now, this is the first solution to the equation, and we can call this our x1. Now, to get the other values of x, we will work with this quadratic, um, um, quadratic expression and equate it to zero. So, we have x squared plus 5x plus 25 equal to zero so once you equate a quadratic expression to zero it becomes a quadratic equation and we can solve this by using the formula method for the formula our a is one that is the coefficient of x squared then our b is plus five that is the coefficient of x and then c is equal to 25 and then what is the formula the quadratic general formula okay so this is quadratic general formula so our x will now be in place of minus b i'll write minus 5 then plus or minus in place of b squared i write 5 squared then minus 4 times a is 1 then times 25 and the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. And that is 2 times a. So x here is minus 5 plus or minus. 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 25. And that will give us 100. So the whole of this will be over 2. Now our x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 
now 25 minus 100 will give minus 75 right and this will be over 2 let's continue this means that x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 75 multiply by square root of negative 1 the whole of this is over 2 what I have done is to bring out the negative. Remember, if you multiply this, you will still have square root of negative 75. Now, the next thing to be done is to break this 75 down. And then we will have x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 75 is the same thing as 25. 25 multiplied by 3. Okay, and then uh, multiply by square root of negative 1. Then the whole of this is over 2. I hope that this is understandable. Okay, so x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus. This 25 here, the square root of that is 5. Then we have root 3. Then what will be the square root of negative 1? That is i imaginary number then here we have two now let's arrange this very well this means that x is equal to minus two plus or minus we have five i square root of three and this would be all over two by the way this is five minus five Okay, now let's continue from here. By the way, what did I do here? 5 times i, that will give 5i. Then root 3 will still appear. Now, the next thing we will do is to factor out 5 from here. See 5 here and it's also there. So, we can say that our x is equal to 5. Factor out 5. Then in here we have minus 1. Then plus here we're going to have i. Then root 3. Because, okay, it's plus or minus root 3 because the 5 here has already come out. So it's going to be i over there. Close this and divide the whole of this by 2. But know that this is a 2 in 1 solution. Okay, so our x is equal to 5 into bracket minus 1 plus we have um, i root 3 all over 2 or we have 5 into minus 1 minus i root 3 everything is over 2 now we have two solutions from here let's bring the three solutions together our x1 that we got remember it's equal to 5 now our x2 is from here where we have 5 into minus 1 plus i root 3 and then this is over 2 and then we get our x3 which is um, 5 into minus 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 minus i remember this is i not 1 then we have root 3 and then the whole of this is over 2 so these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.